Okay, let's give this a whirl. I've tried this on the cat on my uh, my computer. It didn't work very well. Um, hi, this is Nikki. I just wanted to add a few things to what I was trying to say tonight on the um, on the chat room. I think I caused a bit of confusion by talking about anchoring, and I just wanted to clarify that um, so it made a bit more sense. Essentially, anchoring is not a technical term in any way. It's just um, what I was trying to express, which was that I think narratives to be successful have to be anchored in another number of ways. They have to be anchored in a very clear point of view from the very beginning. It doesn't matter what that point of view is, but it should be unambig unambiguous and clear so that um, readers identify straight away. They know who they're following, what character, whether they're in someone's head or if they're watching over their shoulder or even if they're moving between characters. As long as there's a strong narrative voice, I think they find it easier. You, you can do omni, omniscient voice, without a strong narrative for, um, kind of overall character, but it's probably easier if you're going to go for that, that you have a kind of authorial voice. Um, that's one thing. The second thing is, I think it's really important that um, you have a very strong sense of specific place and time, that from the very beginning, you know where you are. Um, so it isn't any old cave or any old forest or any old room. It's this particular room, forest, whatever, which has got very particular characteristics. And to give a sense of that, you don't necessarily have to go into lots of description. You just have to make sure that what, what the details that you give are spot on so they immediately convey the particular place or person that you're conjuring. The third thing um, about anchoring I think that's very important is that if you are going to go into someone's head or talk about their emotions in any way, you have to be very clear of what's actually happening physically that's producing those emotions. So you never should feel a sense of stuff going on in someone's head that's unconnected with some kind of action or, or experience that is physical. Um, sometimes in science fiction you do, do, you do go off on one, but you've got to be really careful because you have to make sure that the, um, the reader understands what's going on and they're not looking at a set of responses and going, oh. Anyway, this is, I'm going to keep this short to see if it works and I'll try uploading it now to YouTube, so fingers crossed.